Father Donnell. Donnell, did I say it correctly? Yes. Father, I always say to people, actions, not words, it's what really matters. And at the end of the day, what's in our heart is really what counts, not what comes out of our mouth. Would you agree with that statement, sir? Absolutely. And that's what our Lord Jesus Christ said as well. Right? If you love me, keep my commandments. It's important the words, and it's important the thoughts, the intentions, but they have weight because of our actions. Exactly. Now, Father, today we're just uh, about to celebrate Thanksgiving in a couple of days. And I see tons of people here collecting food. I saw the line. It's a huge line. Tell us about that, sir. It's a tremendous tradition that St. Peter's and St. Dennis has had, well, I think for probably 30 years now, uh, maybe even longer. But especially this year with the pandemic and all, even more necessary uh, that people have what they need to, to eat together, you know, in their family, the small family, in their household, with the things necessary to really to celebrate and to celebrate being together. Um, and thanks to a lot of donations, uh, individuals who have come these last months bringing food, uh, our corporate donors, we have some great uh, large companies like Goya that have helped but also even schools. Uh, we have a lot of local schools that have competitions who can bring the most turkeys. And so it's a community effort, really. It's not just us at this church who have been supporting this effort. We have about 2,000 turkeys, 2,000 large bags of food uh, just for today. And as you can see, yeah, we've been having people here. The first people to arrive at 5 in the morning, believe it or not. But we're, we still have about 1,500 turkeys, uh, and it's 10 in the morning, so we're doing fine. I think there's, what, 200,000 people in Yonkers, so with 2,000 bags, we're reaching about 1% of, of the city. And as you can see, there's a lot of volunteers, uh, as much from the church, but even other people who have come in other years to help out. we about 100 volunteers right now to make this working and then a great support from the police as well uh community relations people are here they've been handing out bags um helping they just control the traffic uh, so that nobody gets hurt so it's been it's a fun thing to do in a certain way because it really brings the community together even with all the limitations we have this year so to be keep people safe now father i also tell people that uh, thanksgiving should be celebrated every single day if we can always make somebody else's life a, a little easier if we can put a little smile on somebody's face and we are able to help let's just not wait for thanksgiving let's do it in every opportunity we have but we have a day dedicated to celebrate that action now i hear that this is not the only thing you do father during the year you are one of those that help people and the community through the year. Please tell us what you do. What else do you do here at the church? Obviously, we've had two different types of activities. Obviously, one is the spiritual work that we do. Uh, and that is obviously the masses, as the services we have every day. Uh, this is both an English-speaking and a Spanish-speaking community. So for those who uh, only speak Spanish, we have our services in the evening in Spanish, in the morning in English. On Sundays, we offer uh, English and Spanish as well. Obviously, the formation of the children so that they know the scripture and they, they know our Lord Jesus Christ. But obviously, we're more than just spirit. We're also body. And so the, the human being that's both spirit and body, we also have to take care of the material part. And so in addition to all the spiritual work, the formation, uh, Bible studies uh, for adults, for kids, uh, we do a number of things to help us physically, right? The food pantry that you see today isn't only once a year. In fact, many people here in the neighborhood know that every Tuesday morning, uh, especially during the pandemic, we've had 500 bags of food given out. Uh, and that's been since since March. The food pantry goes back about 30 years too, but especially, and I, we all talk about the heroic essential workers, my heroic essential workers were those men and women who were here in March and April uh, giving out food because, you know, we couldn't, people were out of work, people were you know, looking for, for need. But also other programs. Uh, we collaborate a lot with uh, the Catholic Charities, which is the Catholic Church's uh, church and charity uh, work 
and we have an office here just a block away in our school everything from sewing classes uh, to English language, um, legal help, uh, as much with immigration, or just training workers their own rights, you know, and uh, uh, how to uh, organize themselves, um, help with people who uh, are short on rent, uh, or people who have medical problems. So with Catholic Charities, the office over there, we're reaching thousands of people, so they're a great help to me. So that's some of the things that we do. Father, thank you. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for all that you do during the year. Thank you for help the community in every way, any way you can. You are a true meaning that actions, not words, sir. I invite those who uh, still are just hearing this live and maybe didn't know. Uh, though we'll still be giving food until probably 4 o'clock, I would assume. It's until we run out of turkeys, more or less. Uh, so if you're there and you didn't know, feel free to stop by still. It's still pretty early. It's only Now, for those that are asking where where are we, we are on Riverdale intersection at the corner of uh, Riverdale and Ludlow, 256 Riverdale. Correct, sir? Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you very much. Happy Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, sir. A mi gente que, de, que habla español, que no entendieron lo que el padre uh, Donald estaba diciendo, estamos aquí en la iglesia de San Piras, en la intersección de Riverdale en Ludlow, 256 de Riverdale. Están dando uh, turkeys, comida para Thanksgiving. Si ustedes necesitan algo, vengan acá. Eso empezó a las 12 y va a estar aquí hasta que terminen los turkeys. Creen que más o menos hasta las 4 o 5 de la tarde. Por favor, vengan a buscar algo. Y aquí está, aquí está la gente, los oficiales de la policía asistiendo con todo. Miren. And as you guys can see, they are very, you know, aware of the, the social distancing. They're letting people go, you know, with a certain amount of feet from each other. And, uh, and let me show you how, where the line goes. So that's the end where I was, the father was talking and he comes all the way out. Now, Officer Laura is going to speak with us from the Yonkers PD Hi. officer. Nice to see you. Every every event, community event, outreach, I see you. Thank you. I'm trying. Why is that? Are you? So today we're here for the last five or six years. We have helped the third precinct because generally it's a very large crowd. Uh, today it's so well organized. It's running so smoothly. They're maintaining social distancing. So we're here helping, but we also brought uh, books, children's books, for our Need to Read program. And we've, we've given out thousands already today, which is phenomenal. Um, it's a really popular program. Literacy, we know, is, is the foundation of, of learning, and I really we really try and foster that. So our Need to Read program started a couple years ago, and whenever we can, we bring, bring books out. And I thought today would be great, because as people are standing online, they're kind of getting antsy, and it gives them something to do. So, you know, it's been terrific. We're so happy to be here. But you do much more than just the books. Uh, I see you at the place that you don't, you know, the Young PD donates bicycles and we the do. library. Sure. Tell us about those programs. Sure. So we actually run the Mayor Mike Spano's bicycle uh, donation program, and we're we're actually planning a Christmas event right now. So we accept uh, gently used bicycles, and we we repair them in our office, and then County Cycle on McLean helps us. Um, they donate services to actually repair anything that we can't. 
and then we turn around and we donate the, the bikes back to kids in the community. Now, Sergeant, if I have a bike or two and I want to bring them to you, yeah. how do I reach you? So, we, are, we have two offices now, 36 Radford Street and um, the PAL building, 127 North Broadway. Our, our phone number is 914-377-7375. You can call and speak to any of the officers about donating either children's books or bicycles. And we can come pick them up, or if it's easier, you can drop them off to either office. You know, that's that's what we can do for you. Now, in regards to the Reach Out program, because I, I remember I was at one of the events, and I saw you speaking with a young man. Uh, he was a homeless person, and you were there very kindly talking to him. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Is that some form of uh, reach out program? And so we, I, I, we run s multiple programs, but what I think you're talking about is we actually run the HEART program, which is a, a drug outreach program um, specifically toward heroin because we know that that's a big problem right now for us. And so our captain, Captain Ward, is, is in charge of that. He will go out and we will go with him. We speak to homeless, um, you know, or we go follow up on jobs that we had for overdoses and see if we can get them services to kind of change their path and get them help. So it's important to, to, to talk to the community and tell them that the police is not just there to arrest them. There is a lot of things that you do to prevent drug addiction, you know, uh, get away from drugs. Tell us just a little bit about that because we have an interview coming up. Yes, so sure. just let's uh, just leave for a few minutes. Sure. Yes. Now, before people go and start commenting, where is the mask? Where is the mask? Well, the mask is right by, it's right there. But because, as you know, the CDC recommendations are, if you can maintain a social distance, a mask is not required. Masks are required when you are close to each other to minimize, not prevent, but minimize. So, the Sergeant has a mask. I have mine. Exactly. So it gets like, muffled. Yeah, I'll put it right back on. Thank you, Sergeant. Thank you. Have a great day. And happy Thanksgiving.